KTSN Storm Tracker 3 forecast. Earlier this week, we had a couple of rounds of strong to severe thunderstorms, namely targeting western Kansas and the northern half of the state that delayed the wheat harvest. Here's the thing. This is also going to delay the harvest a little bit longer. Look at this cluster of shower and thunderstorm activity that continues to pack a punch. We have numerous severe thunderstorm warnings that remain in effect. I want to take you over toward Garden City, Lakin, over toward the Syracuse area. You can see we have numerous severe thunderstorm warnings here. This is actually where we have some of the largest hail out of all of this that's going on in western Kansas. Wouldn't be surprised if we do see some hail to the size of golf balls near the Lakin area over toward the Garden City area. Folks watch out for that. Also winds up to 60, 70 miles per hour will definitely be a possibility. Then as we head over toward Sublette and Ulysses, we have additional thunderstorms that are moving through here. Those will also be pushing down to the south southeast and then down toward the Oklahoma Panhandle. A few severe thunderstorms here, one of which that is approaching the Hooker and Tyrone areas. Winds up to 60 miles per hour are a possibility. We could also have some hail to the size of quarters. All of these storms, though, they are expected to cluster together as they race down to the east southeast. A new severe thunderstorm warning. I was telling you about this a few moments ago that the folks in Hayes have been watching the skies to the west rather closely, and you folks are now under a severe thunderstorm warning until 645. It will be in Hayes in about 12 minutes, Victoria in 29, and it looks like it'll continue to work southeastward here. Uh, winds to 60, 70 miles per hour could also see hail up to Nichols with that. Not seeing as much hail here a little bit farther down the line toward Nest City and Jetmore, but this is also where you're going to see on the leading edge of this line of thunderstorm activity. Winds between 60 and 80 miles per hour over toward Alexander in 27 minutes. Jetmore prepare for these winds in 31 and Rush Center in about 48. Now I want to take you over toward the Hayes areas. We've been watching those clouds darken up minute by minute and now they are starting to get closer. So we're going to keep a close eye on that severe thunderstorm a little bit farther to the south over toward Dodge City. This is what the skies look like here. Those storms still have many more miles left to travel, but it definitely looks like Dodge City will also be picking up some of this rainfall. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until 11 o'clock tonight for all the counties that are shaded in pink. It includes the cities of Hayes, Great Bend. You are not included. Pratt down toward Medicine Lodge, Dodge City, Garden City, Goodland, Liberal and Elkhart, Wichita is not included at this time. So let's take a look at how these storms will continue to move through the evening and the early overnight. Out in western Kansas, they all congealed together into a mass of heavy rain and even thunder. But I do see weakening in this complex as it moves southeastward closer to the Wichita area. It may be in here earlier than midnight with what our stormcast is indicating. But depending on how far to the south this will sag tomorrow, we could see additional thunderstorm development closer to the Kansas-Oklahoma state line, pretty close to the Wichita area during the lunch hour tomorrow. That wave pushes east-southeastward. And then we have a few isolated storms that will bubble up tomorrow afternoon and evening in western Kansas. And then our attention will focus rather closely on Sunday because a stronger storm moves in. Look at all of this that's going to take place right in the heart of Kansas by Sunday afternoon and evening. And some of those storms could be severe. We're looking at all forms of severe weather, although I think damaging winds will be the primary concerns out of Sunday afternoon and evening's activity. Here in the Wichita area, storms wrap up, move out on Monday, slim rain risk on Tuesday, but most of us should stay dry. You know what's going to happen on Tuesday? Mm -hmm. The heat comes back full force. We're going to be warming up into the middle to upper 90s in north central Kansas. 80s through the weekend and Monday thunderstorms, some of which will be severe Sunday afternoon and evening. Those blast out of here early on Monday and then the heat. Well, that's going to come back full blast middle 90s by Wednesday in southwest Kansas approaching 90 the next two days. Once this rain moves out right now, can't rule out a shower storm tomorrow evening, although better chances are in store for you Sunday afternoon into the evening. Gets out of here on Monday. Northwest Kansas also anticipating more rain later in the weekend. Next week looks mainly dry, but it's also going to be pretty hot. 90s from Tuesday all the way through Friday. Well,